Hello YouTubers! So my wife has complained the dishwasher is not working properly and it's not draining. So you guessed it, today's do-it-yourself project is unclogging our Frigidaire dishwasher. So I opened up the dishwasher and let's take a look at it. Notice all the standing water. This dishwasher is not properly draining. First thing I'll do is I'm going to siphon out all that standing water. Then I'm going to remove this spinning arm. Notice these two clips. Just pull on one clip and pull up. Notice that tab at the 3 o'clock position. All we do is take a hold of it and twist to 6 o'clock position and pull up. So notice all the debris we find. This definitely stops water from draining. So let's clean out all that debris. and give it a quick clean. Now let's remove this small basket screen, but notice its position. Now remove our large circular screen, and then siphon out that excess water. Now we're going to remove a total of three screws with our torque screwdriver. Notice our ball valve. You can move it around, but do not remove it. Feel around the area to see if there's any more debris stuck. Aha! Looks like there's more hair and debris. I wonder how does hair get inside our dishwasher? Alright then, let's put everything back in reverse order. And please rewind the video if you forget any steps. Now let's run our dishwasher to see if that worked. We'll just run a short 10 minute cycle, rinse and start. Okay, the cycle is done. Let's check to see how great job we did. Nope, still water in there. Uh oh, the wife says it's still clogged. Still lots of water in there. Sh shoot. I failed. What am I gonna do? Okay, I may have failed the first time, but I'm still determined. So I went back to the drawing board, did some more research, and I have another second idea. Alright, let's take it apart one more time. Shop vac is much faster. What do you think? So I always say, if you fail once, try again. So here's my second idea. Baking soda, vinegar, and hot boiling water. First, mix baking soda with tap water.
then stir it generously. Then get a cup of vinegar. Then boil some water. Now pour in that baking soda mix. Followed by your cup of vinegar. And finally, your hot water. Now let's wait for 10 minutes before we start up the dishwasher again. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, so let's start the rinse cycle one more time. And hopefully we've fixed the problem. Okay, the rinse cycle is done. Now let's take a look to see what a great job we've done. Uh oh, looks like I failed again for the second time. Wow, I can't believe it. Well, okay, before I call the professionals, I have one more last try and I think it's going to do it. All right then, so underneath the sink is our dishwasher cleanout tube, right over here. And we're gonna find out if this is clogged or not. First thing I'll do is undo this bracket. Remove this bracket with a flathead screwdriver. Now let's remove this rubber piece that connects the tube to the cleanout. Using a steel wire brush or pipe cleaner, just by feeling how hard it is to push this brush in, I know there's some type of clog occurring in there. If I had to guess, I'm thinking it's some type of calcium buildup or soap that has hardened in that area. Now I start brushing that area really good and clean. And I think I've finally found the real problem. Then I add some vinegar and water to help the clean out. Then I put it back all together. And you know what? I have a good feeling about this. So now let's run the rinse cycle one more time and see how great of a job we've finally done. Well, there's some good news. I finally hear the water draining out. There it is. You hear that draining? Alright then, the dishwasher's rinse cycle has finally stopped. Let's take a look how well of a job we've finally done. And look at that, hallelujah, it worked. It's bone dry, which means that it is now draining properly and we have finally fixed our problem. Well, I hope you liked this video. I know I learned a lot. So please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.